Hey, buddy. Hey, folks. How are you? What's going on, people? I'm trying to remain in a positive mood, but every day there's something else that's just, just putting a dagger in my freaking heart. Well, I got to admit today I'm actually making money on the dry ships. Would you know? Would you know I still got a bunch of it left and it's higher than where I bought it. U.S. Steel trying to make me uh, a believer again, but time is running out because I have the $50 calls that expire worthless on uh, next Friday. Digital Globe, hey, look at that. Something I did analysis in that worked out. Was buying the stock in the 18s and the 19s, told you to get in, 20. Looked like they were accumulating the stock. But uh, we're not here to talk about the uh, stock market in general. We're here to talk about Vegas, people. Vegas, okay? There's a trade show, the Traders Expo, where all these guys that I come to, I don't even know what to say. I, I like some of them. The guys that don't, see, what I'm trying to figure out is the whole reason that I wanted to make an infomercial was just to prove the point that it's better to have a guy on your side that's a loser than a guy that's saying that he's a winner, okay? Because the winners keep their mouths shut because what they have is working for them. Why would they want to spread the word? Me, on the other hand, I'm a loser. Things go wrong for me and I'm looking for you guys to exploit the loser that I am. Mind you, I sold 3,000 of my 10,000 dry ships at 681 today. Just a note, it'll probably go higher. And what I failed to mention, sometimes I forget that there's noobs to the show. You don't exactly know how to make money off this whole shebang of disgusting plight that I live on. When I buy 100 shares of something, guaranteed I'm going to make money on the stock because I only have 100 shares. I'm going to make money. Should have told you that I was in the Chesapeake. Ooh, what song we got now? Going oldies today. Oh, yeah. Little Roy Orbison. Now... What happened with the DGI yesterday was that I sold out of the common and I was looking to buy the options, which I finally got printed at the end of the day because I paid up a little bit for them. You know how I trade. I don't like to pay up on anything. I'd rather not do the trade than even pay a nickel. Penny wise, pound foolish, whatever you call it, whatever you say about it. But here I was, I paid up for the stock and wouldn't you know the stock's gapped down 50 cents. Not a lot. Stock can move 50 cents by the end of the day, but it's just the thing is that when I finally do pay up for something, it goes down the next day. So now we're looking at, we're looking at Vegas. We're looking at Vegas. Let's not talk about stocks. November 17th to the 21st is the trade show. If you are, uh, if you're able to go, go. Because what we're going to do is in a nutshell, we're going to have a bunch of models come to my suite. And we're going to have a photographer there. And we're going to film the event. We're going to have a sort of a beauty contest for whoever gets the cover of the calendar. We're putting together a calendar for the people that are going to be subscribers to the program starting next year. Obviously. You're going to get a free calendar with the purchase of the Hit The Bid program. And then what we're also going to do is we're going to be picking a lot of fights. So if you want to run with me... Night, boom, boom, knock you out fights. But we're going to pick fights with all the guys at the trade show, the guys who think they're so smart. And we're going to see who's really better starting January 1st of next year. We'll see who can uh, outduel who. And we'll see who should be paying for what. Because that's the basics of it all. Now, I kind of think that, you know, I don't trust anybody who says they're so smart and they want to help me, Okay. I want to trust a guy that's, you know, if he's not in the industry, I mean, if he's not trading for a living and he's telling you that how smart he is, there might be something behind that because that's what I'm telling you. Because right now I'm on the cusp and I've said this a lot, but now I'm at the point after this X trade and this quid, if you don't know, I promise I wouldn't go short anymore, but once again... Instead of selling all my quid when it went over 27, 
I decide to hold on to this last 3,000. And of course, the market has gone up every single day since then. So, I mean, I could legitimately lose $75,000 because the quid could probably go to zero too. It's another one of these bullshit ETFs. At least it's not as much as bullshit as these other ones like the SRSs and all these other ones like the UNG. And Kramer was on to it. I mean, I have to give the guy some credit. Most of these ETFs are jokes. They were sentiment indicators built so you could trade when the market was crashing. And now that their market's not crashing anymore, they're all going to zero. No matter what you think is inside their value, they're all worthless. The quid is the only one that's actually legitimate because it does track the NASDAQ 100 and up or down, it's gonna be forced to move. It probably doesn't move in the right increments if you break it down mathematically and you shouldn't be holding them long term because you lose money after the adjustments at the end of the day. Listen, Vegas. Come to Vegas November 20, 17th to the 21st because what we're going to do is we're going to be walking around and I want some people there that have seen what I've done over the last couple of years to prove to the other people because I'm out for the people. Well, I once went to the trade show and I was out to make friends with the other booth people and get them to, you know, tell about their wares. At this point, I really don't give a shit, okay? If you're a trading platform, I'll talk to you. But if you're one of these guys that says you can plug in your computer to your to the trading platform and make money, you got to prove it. And I want to see it being proven. I'm not going to subscribe to your thing. I want you to be able to put up or shut up. Listen, here's what we'll do. We're going to bet them that in, we'll give them three months. If, if you prove a point, we'll subscribe to you. If you don't, we want $1,000. Let's let's do some gambling already because we're in Vegas. We're talking about the stock market. Let's see who wants to put up or shut up because I'm willing to take that chance. I'm willing to bet people a thousand bucks that I could outproduce them or underproduce them. Lo and behold, but the bottom line is I'll be telling people to get in when I get out because that thing has been working since 1997. Every time I sell out of the stock, it goes higher. Every time I'm short of stock and I cover, it goes lower. There's no rationale behind it. It's just what happens. And I'm going to prove it this in 2010. Because 2010, I have to say, it's got to have to be a choppy, choppy market. A perfect market for me to get my ass raped. The only thing is, I'm not going to be trading as much as I used to. So probably now, doing what I say will work more than getting in and getting out what I do. Have I even said it one intelligent, intelligent word this whole time? Vegas is what I'm trying to say. Vegas. There'll be about eight to ten models in my suite, prancing around, we'll be taking pictures, we'll be drinking heavily, there'll probably be some sort of other illegal substances in the air. I'm probably just gonna have a nitrous tank there, just releasing that shit into the air, maybe some amyl nitrate, a bunch of neat ether. If you've seen Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, that's what we're going to be striving for, that kind of thing. So. And there'll be photographers there, and if you don't want your picture being taken, we'll just blur it out in the uh, in the aftermath. But we're going to be doing that. We're going to be having a lot of fun, and we're going to be rip roaring until they probably throw us out of this thing. Because I'm already on the watch list for some reason. I have never done anything wrong. There was rumors about me breaking up some meeting with Fidelity. I mean, everybody's out to get me. It's like I'm some 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 huge success story that's going to hurt people. The NASDAQ came after me. If you don't know about the NASDAQ, originally shut my website down. You know about that? Bottom line is... Blicka, Blair, and a... Roof, roof, roof. That's all I gotta say. Dry ships, baby. D-R-Y-S. Going to 10 bucks. It's the only stock out of the 40 stocks that I had in my portfolio... Why would you have 40 stocks in your portfolio? Because I bought a couple of hundred shares of everything just to see how I would do. Remember the, 20, remember the 2018 fund? All 39 of them have done well, except the dry ships. So I'm, I, I gotta think I'm gonna go 40 for 40 because I have to. It's the only one that hasn't gone up. It's gonna go. It must go. It will go. Dry ships to 10 bucks. DGI. It's a slow mover, it's a grinder. Satellite's gonna be launched October 6th, the government contract that they have. 
Only frightening thing about the DJI is that they only have that one client, pretty much the government. But you know, as if the stock market doesn't need anything else, the government made the market go up. Maybe it'll make DJI go to 25. That's all I really want. All right. See you later.